taxis are everywhere in Bangkok and can be a good way to get around with if you know how to use them. Hello, I'm Nina and today I will tell you everything about the taxis in Bangkok. I work for Coven Castle Bangkok Tours. We are the first and original bicycle tours here in Bangkok. We've been operating for over 30 years and we would like to share our insights with you. I am going to talk about the taxis in general, how to speak as an English speaker with a Thai taxi driver, the cost of a taxi and last but not least, what you need to watch out for. There are 150,000 taxis in Bangkok and they come in many different colors. But these colors don't mean anything. It just shows from which company they are working. So you can just pick the color you like the most. If you see a taxi, look for the red neon light in the front window. If it's on, it means it's available and you can wave it down. In Thailand, you call someone by waving your hand down. The first rule of taking a taxi in Bangkok is always use the meter. If they disagree on this, don't step in, just take the next one. This isn't a problem because there are plenty of taxis in Bangkok. You may have heard from a lot of tourists that they can't find a taxi which is using the meter or that they need to pay too much. But these are normally the taxis we're standing in front of the hotels or big touristic attractions. My tip is to walk to the nearest road and flag down a driving taxi. And hopefully he will use his meter. Expect to be refused a couple of times and don't take this personal. It happens to me, as you can see, and it also happens to my Thai friends. There are many reasons. They don't understand you, or they don't know your direction, or there's a lot of traffic in your destination you would like to go to. Don't worry, just take another cab. Don't expect the taxi driver to know every street or alley in Bangkok, especially when you're mispronouncing the Thai words. So the best way to prepare is to bring a print of your destination inside, like a hotel card, or have a screenshot of the address on your phone ready. Maps normally don't work, because most Thai people don't use a map. Best way is to ring your destination and have the Thai speaking person talk to the taxi driver. If you are longer in Bangkok, try to identify the biggest landmarks near your destination. This is easier for you as well for the taxi driver because almost every taxi driver knows the biggest landmark. He will drive you there and from there you can walk to your destination. Once you get in a taxi, the taxi driver will push a button and the meter will start. Starting fare is 35 baht, after this it's around 5 baht per kilometer. If you're stuck in traffic and you're standing still, it's 2 baht per minute. If there are any problems with the taxi driver or you forgot something, I hope you don't, but if you do, you can call the taxi hotline 1164 and they will help you. So if you step in a taxi, you need to remember this number or even make a picture. Avoid traffic jams. As you can see, the traffic can be very bad in Bangkok. Rush hour is between 7 and 9 in the morning and 6 till 9 in the evening. If you're somewhere important to go, just take an extra 30 minutes or use the BTS. And after that, you can use a motor taxi. This is a lot easier. Once you reach your destination, you just need to pay whatever the meter says. So don't bring only big amounts of money because the taxi driver may not have any change or use this as an excuse. So you just need to make sure you bring small notes with you. 
about tipping in Bangkok, it's not expected of you, but it's convenient for you and for the taxi driver to round up the amount with 5 or 10 baht. If you step out of the taxi, you always need to make sure to be careful because there might be a motor or a cyclist who even try to pass you on the left side. And believe me, you don't want to pay this damage. If you're looking for an authentic and unique adventure, go book a tour at Coven Castle Bangkok Tours because we will take you up to Vinan Pad and show you the real Bangkok. If you want to see our previous video, you can click here. If you want to know more about us, you can click here. If you want to know more about our tours, you can click here to go to our website. And don't forget to subscribe and then I will see you in the next videos. Bye.